So, oh my gosh, hello you guys from an empty Lufthansa first class. Today I'm flying uh, Lufthansa's 747-8 Queen of the Skies from Frankfurt to Bangalore. This is my first time ever flying first class with them. They're my most flown airline, both distance and segment wise. So Lufthansa really have a special place in my heart and being here all alone in this first class cabin is just incredible. If you want to see what the experience is like, want to see what I think of Lufthansa's first class, which is meant to be one of the most luxurious and special in the world, then just keep on watching. Okay. Thanks. We have also sleeping rooms if you want to sleep. We have showers. The restaurant is there. Um, you can uh, take from the buffet or order a car. Okay. We have a cigar lounge if you want to smoke. I'm in the Lufthansa first class lounge. This is going to be like a little tour of the lounge before I get on my flight. Um, get to see this is supposed to be one of the best lounges in the world and it's fact, in fact it's not really even a lounge it's a first class terminal so i've got my gummy bears oh yeah and one more incredible thing i got a lufthansa first class duck finally <laughs> or maybe the one and only um yeah feel free to choose the nicest place wonderful thanks so much. <laughs> wow where do i where do i choose i don't <laughs> i mean i guess 1a is always a cool place to sit this one right here great so i switched seats to 1a cool <laughs> So I'm just settling in with some champagne, nuts, and water. Ugh, I'm just, you guys, I, I can't, literally can't record because I don't want to waste a second on board. But I'm going to share as much as I can. This is extraordinary.
So starting the flight with a little amuse bouche of uh, grilled vegetables and a tropical juice. So we just took off uh, and being in the nose of one of the world's newest, most quiet planes, it's also the world's longest plane, being in the nose, row one, it's just unbelievably quiet. The engines are like as loud as an air conditioner from here. It's insane how quiet they sound. So I'm going to try to give you a little seat tour here, at least the best that I can, because the seat is just huge, like the amount of functions, the amount of different things you can do here. So first, looking over to the right, uh, where there isn't too much stuff going on, we have our seat controls. Um, now this button can be used to raise the privacy partition. I, I mean, if I wasn't alone on this entire flight, I might actually want to do that. And it raises really high, so you literally can't see anyone else in the cabin. So here, uh, also I wanted to show, we have uh, the possibility of adjusting the ottoman. So we can actually bring it back, bring it forward like this. Uh, so however tall you are, you will be able to reach it. Um, and what's great about this ottoman is that it doubles as a huge storage compartment. So I put my shoes, pajamas, amenity kit, loads of stuff in there, and you can put bigger items up here. Then on the left, right here, we have our remote control. Over here, we have a sort of drink storage compartment uh, to put a water bottle or whatever you want to put there. Um, also, the seat has a reading light up here. And then continuing on the left, we have um, a storage compartment down here with an elegant pocket like this. Um, quite big, great for a computer or something like that. And then over here is another storage compartment, slightly smaller, I put my passport in there. And we have the Bose uh, Q25 noise cancelling headphones. Very nice. Those are some of the best in the world. Here we have uh, magazine storage. I put my menus there as well, which we'll look at in a second. And then just going forward, we have the beautiful rows, a coat hook up in the left corner, and our nicely sized entertainment system. Now look how neat this is. There are no window blinds up here. Also, there's no, there's no annoying dimmers like on the 787, but... Ah, oh, beautiful. So you can just stop it wherever you want. Ooh, okay, one thing I thought about here is that there are no individual air vents. This is a huge air vent up here, but I, I can't see how we would control it, at least not right now. Uh, I'm also trying to figure out, all right, here, up here is the tray table. So we have a pair of awesome slippers given to us. Cozy looking slippers. Look how awesome. Talk about great if you need to get out and go to the bathroom. The tray table goes all the way back and all the way forward. So let's have a look at the amenity kit. Gents, I was expecting Remova, but I guess they switched that out. It's from Jill Sander. All right, so we have a hot towel like this with rose, rose petals. That's what makes it first class. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so we have the amenity kit like this. Let's continue looking through it. It seems like it's just a huge pocket that goes all the way through, which I mean, that's kind of random. Like there's no order of anything in here. Um, we have uh, the La Prairie toiletries, which is my favorite part of the Little tons of first class amenity kits because I've been gifted some of the removal ones before. Uh, and these, this is nice stuff. Uh, so that's awesome. We have a uh, comb. We have a nice toothbrush kit with a uh, fisherman's friend uh, mint and zendium toothpaste. We have little, there we are, little earplugs. And the little kit of socks, eye shades, and a shoehorn. That's it. Uh, <laughs> I 
And here are all the contents together. Uh, I want to show you also in the lavatories, they have a bunch more toiletries, uh, which is why this sort of looks like it isn't so much. Um, but I'll show you that later on. It's um, done separately, but uh, for, to offer you the whole choice or the whole variety, <laughs> we put it all in one part. First of all, all the appetizers are served on a cart, which is just stunning that they do it that way. Um, so you can really see what you'd like. Uh, so I'm starting my meal with some caviar. Uh, this is just mind-blowing. Uh, a lot of garlic bread, since there's no one else on board, I can literally have as much garlic bread as I want. Okay, I went for seconds just because this caviar was so amazing. The best caviar I've ever had, wow. It's delicious. I just want more and more and more. So here are um, three of the other appetizers that I'm getting to try. Uh, we have a Indian marinated uh, fruit with feta cheese. We have a salad with a garlic pesto dressing and a rainbow trout with purple potato. Uh, then up here we have a pretzel roll and more garlic bread. which is just unbelievably stunning. Uh, <laughs> I'm used to getting like one plate as a main course and she brought all this out. I was speechless. She's just like, so here's your chutney, here's your mango chutney. Um, how beautiful is this? We have some dal, some rice, no, what am I saying? Some uh, prawn, some spinach, uh, some uh, type of bread. Uh, the rice or biryani, uh, bon appetit to me. The experience so far has been incredible. The flight attendant is top notch, jokes around, so kind, so friendly. prepared as you can see look how beautiful um, we have uh, the privacy partition raised can also go down if you want to depending on how claustrophobic you get since I'm empty here it might not be the biggest problem but I'm just so excited <laughs> look how incredible it's so just the seats are so or the the bedding is so plush and like two pillows looks beautiful and here is the rest of the cabin we haven't really had such a detailed look just at the seat itself um, but here you can see here's my seat I'm settled in so I thought we'll have a look at the menu before I settle into bed it's huge first of all let's have a look here you can pause if you want to read anything more specifically uh, I've heard mixed things about Lufthansa first class dining but my personal experience was that, uh, at least on today's flight, the meal was pretty incredible. Some of the descriptions on those main courses are just insanely long. Okay, I'm gonna have to go closer for this. This is everything we can have during the flight. And for the uh, drink menu, the Vinotec, uh, again, please pause if you'd like to read this uh, longer piece of text. Here's for the drinks. Marble Sauvignon. That's it for the menus and for the beautiful, beautiful lavatory.
is this which I found goes in here guess where the toilet is under the seat so we have these awesome La Prairie toiletries mouthwash Time to change into my pajamas from Van Leck. Okay, and here's the fashionable pajamas. <laughs> So come with me to bed, you guys. <laughs> Not every day you hear that, but um, oh, whoa, there's a very fluffy mattress pad. Um, so we really get the full plushes bed experience. We have a water bottle back here. Um, flight attendants told me they'd dim the cabin lights for me. Whoa. <laughs> you guys, this feels like being in any regular bed. <laughs> the sheets are incredible. So fluffy. The bed is soft, wide, ready for bed. Time for sleep. Let's see if the cabin lights change too. Uh, <laughs> just because I want to sleep, the whole cabin gets dimmed. This is amazing. Uh, so, good night, you guys. I'll uh, talk to you in a few hours. I'm just going to take a nap. Uh, yeah. <sighs> this is incredible. So I woke up, there's my beautiful, beautiful bed. I woke up to have some dessert. Uh, I also got some masala tea, which is also available, which, which is only available, should I say, on Lufthansa flights to and from India. Uh, then here um, we have the first turmeric something something dessert from the menu, uh, from the dinner menu, and then here we have uh, the chocolate meets orange, which, or coffee meets orange, actually. And I'm, oh my gosh, the smells, everything is, are just incredible. I'm beyond excited. Ah, oh, beautiful. Like that, just open. Let's see. So I literally just had like a one and a half hour chat with uh, Barbara, such a wonderful flight attendant on this flight. We talked about travel destinations, about uh, everything you can imagine. Um, now they're bringing out a little meal cart before landing. The cabin is beautifully lit up. There's my bed, and you don't, you can't, Im you can't imagine the cravings I feel to go back and sleep there. It's, it looks amazing. <laughs> and uh, here we have chocolates, yeah. And here's the dinner cart. Uh, a lot of food for one person. <laughs> mm. 
beautiful, beautiful. Now we have our first class. <laughs> so dinner starts with a soup. What do you know what type seafood of soup? Bisque. Ah, seafood bisque. It smells delicious. And I forgot to record the an amazing salad I had between here. Uh, but here is um, some couscous, grilled pineapple, tomato uh, type dish with this whole thing waiting over here. How how amazing. Oof, so we've already started our descent into Bangalore. We have um, all this beautiful fruit to end the night and the chocolates and some kind of soup. I wait, it's some sweet thing. But yeah, wow. So do I even have to say how my flight was? Um, let's see if we can get this to focus. Yeah, my flight was mind-blowing. Without a doubt, the best flight of my life. I mean, everything was just so wonderful, from the food to the flight attendants were incredible. I, I like, was sitting here eating uh, and chatting with one of the flight attendants for an hour and a half, just talking about everything. It was lovely, lovely, lovely. And this cabin is insane. The seats are so comfortable. As a bed, it feels like a five-star hotel bed. I'm not kidding you. Uh, and this 77 or 747-8 cabin is top-notch. As you can guess, I would so, so strongly recommend Lufthansa First Class. The deal I got for this flight with Miles was insane. I mean, I hope to make a video soon sharing with you how you all can fly Lufthansa First Class for basically nothing using Miles, because this was the best deal ever. Um, and I'm so happy I finally got to experience uh, dear old Lufthansa's famous, famous first class product. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below what you thought, um, subscribe for much more uh, reviews and airline videos like this, uh, and until I see you all next time, fly safe.